I've had the busiest day. Got a text from the garage. Cobra's ready. Gear stick has been fixed. Leak has been fixed. The car should be in tip top shape, ready to be collected. So I'm very excited about picking that up. I'm getting an Uber to go pick that up right now. Should be here in three minutes. So three minutes, Uber will be here. I'll have a meeting in an hour and a half. There's no way I can do legs in less than two hours, man. Especially if I want to do cardio. So I'm trying to think how I'm going to break this up. I think what I'm going to do, pick up the car, go to the gym, do cardio, leave, go to my meeting and go back to do legs. Yeah, not ideal, far from ideal, but that's how it's gonna be. Or I'll do legs and do cardio later, we'll see. There she is, everything changed. So you can see the gear stick in there, can you see the gear stick? I've actually got a new knob for the top and it has red details on it. So I'm gonna switch that up, but looking clean, man. It's looking fantastic. Everything's fixed and they cleaned it as well. So, yeah, man, let's roll, let's roll, let's roll, let's roll. You're gonna laugh at this, check this out. So I've had to put covers on my kicks because last time I drove these with white kicks on, the kicks had all stains on the sides of grease or dirt. Like, I don't know what's going on in there, but it stained up my kicks, man. So I'm wearing these. Obviously this is, this can't be permanent. I need to work out a better method, but I still want to wear white kicks while I drive this car. And so far, this is going to be the uh, only way to keep them clean. Morning. So this morning, I want to change the, um, the gear stick. Well, this is the knob. So I think I showed you guys the other day. That's the gear knob. I actually have two varieties here. I think I know which one I'm gonna go with. Let me open them up and I'll show you. These are the gear knobs. This one looks super cool. Pretty much the same as the one that's there, except it's more of a matte satin finish with red. And that red will go with the uh, mats, the uh, emblem on the side, the coyote emblem on the side. That would look pretty cool, better than the white. Or we got this edgy big grip shifter, which is obviously completely custom and uh, not what you'd expect in the Shelby, but I think it might look pretty cool. It might look pretty slick, right? Let me, let me go and fit it. Let's see how it looks. So I've taken this one off. I've just had a thought. If I attach this, which is easily done, I can, uh, I've got the fit in. I feel like this grip is so typical of like a lever that I'll end up breaking this shifter again. For those of you that don't know, I broke it, but it wasn't because I was being forceful. It just seemed it was jammed. I gave it a little nudge and it broke. And I really do think if I fit this, that I'm going to probably tug on it too tight and probably break it. So I think this one's out. As cool as it might look, I'm going to, I think I'm going to return it and go with a traditional ball, which actually is gonna look really slick. This is gonna look really slick. I might actually get a new engine shut off. So this is the battery cut off. Without, when this is turned, it turns all the uh, power off. And right now it's plastic. I'm gonna order a billet one. That's adenized and uh, it's red and uh, looks really cool. Hey buddy, you gonna come gym with me today? There we have it, I've fitted it. I think I'm gonna spray paint this part black i'm about to take my subs and head to the gym so I'll recap for those of you new to the channel i take max strength this is creatine best creatine you can get hmb for my strength and recovery inner shred so i stay lean and mean and I also take tea drive and nitro wood. I'm actually out of nitro wood. I've been looking everywhere. I'm sure I've got a tub somewhere, but I ran out the other day, so I'm gonna try and find one. And I recently opened a new packet of tea drive. Um, I'll put some details in the, these subs so you can go check them out. But I take these every day and I'm about to take them because I'm gonna go train. It is a shoulders day. What do you think of that cocktail I sent you on Instagram? Yeah, I've heard the name's off-putting. The name's weird. The name's weird, but the mix is gonna taste, I don't know. But the, the mix is gonna taste great though. Yeah, I bet it will. 
So I saw this great cocktail on Instagram today and I'm going to make it tonight. It is um, Kaula. I never know if I'm saying it right, but you can correct me in the comments. Kaula Bailey's topped with whiskey in a shot glass. Like, I'm going to make it today. It looks like it tastes great. So, yeah. I just picked up. Cody just had his bath. Cody, go back to the other side. Other side. Go. That side. Go, go. It is late on a Friday night. I'm making a cocktail for me and Shan. And I'm going to make something that I saw on Instagram. I'm going to show you a clip of it. It's got a weird name. I don't know where they're going with this name. The name is Dodgy. But... I'm gonna make it and uh, we're gonna see how it tastes. So I have got in front of me the ingredients. I've got the Kaula, I've got the Baileys. Now, when it comes to the whiskey, there are so many options. I don't know which one I'm gonna go for, but Hibiki is my favorite. Um, so I might just go for that. This one has a great smoky flavor. Toki is always great. And then I have a bunch of other ones. I've got this, I've got the regular Woodford. Uh, I've got that one up there. And then there's a bunch more down there. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the Hibiki. So uh, let's make this and see how it comes out. All right, so first poured in some Kaula. I'm freestyling this by the way. I don't know what measurements he put. Looked like he put about that much Kaula. Am I even saying it right, Kaula? And then, in order for the Baileys not to just dip into the uh, into the cooler and create a, a layer, he used a spoon. Jesus, that's tight on. You can tell I haven't opened this in a long time. Jesus. I'm gonna need something. I'm gonna need a towel. That was so wedged on, I had to go get a rubber glove to open it, crazy. But we did it. I don't know how long Bailey's lasts, but I have not opened this bottle in a long time. No, that didn't work. Let's try again. That's an absolute fail. Yeah, babe, I'm doing it. It's not coming out how it was supposed to. This is disastrous. What a disaster. Absolute mess. That looks nothing like the Instagram post. Hmm, interesting. Well, it doesn't taste too bad, but did not go to plan at all. But doesn't taste too bad. Wonder what Shan's gonna think of it. Just had a delivery. I don't know if I showed you guys, but the Shelby Cobra comes with one side mirror. I don't know why, but they only comes with uh, a side mirror for the driver's side. So um, I actually haven't taken the Shelby Cobra on the freeway because I just don't want to risk not being able to have a you know uh, an angle of what's on my right side. So when I've been driving, I've just looked to the side like you would on a motorcycle, but that's not good enough for the freeway. However, I did order another mirror for the other side. It should have been here a long time ago, but they had to spray paint it sat in black to match the car. So it's arrived, it's here. Let's have a look at how it looks. And I'm actually gonna go install it today. Here we go. Okay, that's the plate. Oh, jeez. Is it supposed to be bent like that? Come on, guys. Well, I'll have a look. Maybe it's supposed to be bent. 
Right, it actually looks bent. And then this is the actual mirror. So, um, hmm. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look the best quality. And I'm wondering if the mirror that I've got at the moment is shiny like this or a satin finish. Either way, at least I've got a mirror for now. Now, if I need to get it powder coated black, then I'll do that, like satin black. But this is it here. And there's the camera, can you see the camera? All right, let's go fit it. All right, we can see here that this one is a different finish. It's more of a, a satin look, and then this one's shiny. I mean, it's gonna do for now, but at some point I need them both to look exactly the same. So I'm gonna have to work that out. Yeah, I'm not quite sure, man. And this is bent as well. Do you know what? I'm not satisfied. I'm actually gonna take a picture of this and send it back to them and say, you know, come on guys, like that's just not good enough. So they're gonna send me a new one. So guys, I've actually decided I'm not gonna fit it. I'm gonna email them about the quality and see what they wanna do about either sending a replacement or refunding, but this is just poor, man. This is just like, let me show you, look. Let me flip it around, look at this. Look at that. This is supposed to be a brand new product. Like, look at that. That's not great at all. And this is just bent. This is just bent and scratched and just terrible. I think this, like, I think this, this is used. This is, this belongs to someone. This, I think this has already been installed by someone and returned and they've just sent it to me. Like, clearly, it's terrible. I'm not having it. Nah, can go back.